Okay, well, good thing I checked my camera. I, I changed something on the card when I was downloading my videos to the to my computer, and it it did something whacked out to the card. It I don't know, but I had to. Well, anyway, I took uh, two videos already, two short clips of starting this, and good thing I looked. They didn't come out. So I checked all the settings, and now I have the right one. So, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm going to Skewer or what, Scarridge, whatever the, it's called, uh, in Waterville Valley, and I'm taking the Livermore Trail to the Kettles path to Skewer Ridge Trail up to the ridge, and we're going to visit Mom today up there. She's also up there, a little memorial for her. And uh, it should be nice. It's nice and early, it's cool. So let's go. Wow, this trail's a lot different than I remembered. I think they rebuilt it or something. There were uh, a couple of yellow blazing blazes at the beginning, and now those are gone. And we got these all over the place, marking the trail. All right. I'm off and off and already. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, it's, this is the old trail. All right. They did some work and then they connected it back to the old trail. Now I remember this. Yeah, quick story. I carry a... Uh, this whistle and compass around, and mostly for the whistle because I uh, ran into a bear here once, <laughs> and he was looking at me like I was food. And uh, a, like, uh, a while back I, at EMS, I was telling them about, you know, if I run into a bear, what do I do? And they said, well, the guy showed me that whistle. It's like two bucks. <laughs> He goes, blow it as hard as he can, and a bear will take off. So, uh, I saw him, and it was my chance to see if that $2 whistle worked. <laughs> it sure did, man. That guy took off. That guy shot at him. And I didn't see him for the rest of the day. Hopefully I won't see any today here. So, I'll see, here's, here's the kettles thing. If, I don't know if you can see it. They're just all over, just these big, like, kettle pot looking areas here on this side too all right let's keep going all right well looks like that newer trail is back to the old trail as you see it's become a whack now uh, and this yellow blaze is kind of really faded out so uh, all right I don't mind Oh, I got a little friend here on the way. What you doing, little guy? Just pass it through. You have a good day, okay? All right, I'm going this way. Don't come in and bite my ankles or anything, all right? <laughs> all right, we're here already. Okay. 0.2 miles to... I don't know, how do you pronounce this? The skewer? The scar? I don't know. I know. All I know is it's uh, it's really nice up there. And, oh, I got a, another story for you. This is really <laughs> this is really crazy. The story. When I first made the memorial for my mom up there, about you know five years ago, um, I remember coming down and I got so lost, and um, I just could not find this area. And I was going, Ma, please get me out of here. Ma, please. And my mom died of uh, lung cancer because she smoked like three packs of cigarettes a day. And all of a sudden, I mean, it was warm too. All of a sudden, it started to snow really heavy and it looked like cigarette ashes coming down. I mean, I'm serious, guys. And all of a sudden, this, when it stopped, it stopped snowing, and this was right here. I mean, is that a crazy story? What, man? It's true, I swear to God. Uh, I don't know if that was my mom helping me get out of here or just one of those things, but there's, that's what happened. 
All right, let's head up 0.2 miles. Let's go. I'm coming, man. Okay, this is really a tough part of the trail. We just can't draw breath for a second here. You know, it's getting really windy and uh, little makers are dropping all over the place, man. <laughs> one just dropped behind me. It's just chance if you get hit by one. I really would hate to get hit by one big enough to make my wife a widow <laughs> or to get the, you know, hurt. Something like this would really hurt, I think. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We're almost there. All right, okay, here's the last push to the top, or to the ridge at least. It's right up there. This is pretty steep, as you can see, but all right. It's nice and windy. It's keeping me cool and it's keeping the bugs down. So that's one good thing about the wind. You know, I'm still sweating. I'm just that kind of person. I sweat a lot. All right, let's do it. Wow, is it windy up here, man. I still got a little bit more to go. This is a cool spot here. Yeah, look at this. It's so cool, isn't it? Look. I gotta put the camera down because I'm gonna need my hands. All right, almost there. Okay, here's mom's tree. Hey, ma, that's well, been a long time. You know, leaves you at a certain time, they turn burgundy, and it's like the only thing of color up here besides green, you know, so that this tree always stuck out. That's why I made this a spot for her and put some of her ashes down there. Ah, ma, it's been a long time. I see some leaves are starting to turn burgundy. Or I don't know, I forgot what time of the year they were. It's been a long time since I've been up here. I even put rosary beads there and those are definitely not here anymore. But here, check out her view. She has a nice little view, huh? You like it, ma? I know you do. What do we got there, Mount Tecumseh? Is that, is that what that is? I'm not sure. I'm, I, yeah, I think that's it. Let's see how far we can zoom in on this place. Oh. No skiing today, huh? <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's just take a walk around the place here before I sit down and have breakfast with Mom. This is a cool little place. I when I found it. It's just nice here, you know? Just really nice. All right, guys, well, thanks for coming along and visiting Mom with me. And uh, I'm going to have some breakfast with her, hang out with her for a while. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming along. See you next time. Bye.